Hey everyone, welcome back. And this is the last lesson in part one of module one called String Methods 2. And there's actually only one problem. So it's a combination of some problems we've done previously. Write a function called compute average length of words. Given two words, compute average length of words returns the average of their lengths. So as we saw previously, to get an average of two values, we add them together and divide them by two. So the first thing that we would need would be a couple of variables describing the length of each word. So we'll say length of word one is equal to word one dot length. Variable length of word two is equal to word two dot length. And again, I'm sorry if you guys can hear, or sorry if y'all can hear um, the sirens. I live right next to a fire station, so you gotta figure hopefully they're you know attending to somebody who requires assistance and they've done so successfully. At least that's what I like to think when they're keeping me awake. But anyway, compute the average length of words as we described is going to be, first we'll say the sum is going to be equal to the length of word one plus the length of word two and then the average which we return directly in the last one but let's write it out here average is going to be sum divided by two and then we can return the average so length of word one is equal to word one dot length length of word two is equal to word two dot length the sum is going to be equal to those two variables added together the average is going to be that sum divided by two, and then we return the average. Now again, this is as verbose as we could make this in terms of code, meaning there's more code here than we really need, but for the purposes of demonstration, it can be very useful to see it broken down this way. So that's it for part one. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.